We love the Cartoon Network because they have really weird cartoons. Yes. And who are we drawing today? Kyo. One of the weirdest. <laughs> Got a marker. Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper. Let's do this. Good. Okay. Okay. KO. Yeah. We're going to first start by drawing his eyes and we're going to draw two circles and we're going to draw them towards the left of our paper so that we have room for his fist over here. So we're going to draw two circles and they're also going to touch right in the middle. Yeah. And another one. Good. Now let's draw his pupils and their lines inside. And we're going to draw them kind of close to each other. So he looks a little cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to draw his nose. And it's a little rectangle shape comes out the bottom. Then let's draw his eyebrows. So we'll draw him angry. Then we're going to draw his mouth, and we're going to start by drawing a smile. So we're going to draw a curve that comes under his nose, and then we're going to turn it into a jelly bean shape. We're going to come around because his mouth is open and connect. Yes, just like that. Then let's draw his teeth, and we're going to draw four bumps. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to draw one, two, three, four bumps. Then we can draw his tongue, and it's a curve that touches his teeth, comes down to the bottom of his mouth. Okay, now we're going to draw his cheek. We're going to start up here on his eye, and we're going to draw a line that curves all the way around and follows his mouth. And it's going to come underneath his mouth and stop over here. So we're going to finish the rest of his head later. We're first going to draw his arm and his fist sticking out. So let's draw a long line that comes out. He's going to be punching. Then we're going to draw another curve right here, just a small one. It's right in line with his tongue. And then we're going to draw the other side of his arm sticking out, coming out like that. All right, cool. Now let's draw his fist. We're going to draw a big curve that connects the two lines. Then we're going to draw his thumb. So up here we're going to draw a curve that curves around and then tucks back in, kind of like a swirl. Yeah, there we go. Then we're going to draw the outside of his fist. So we'll start here, we're going to curve around, and then connect down at the bottom. Okay, now let's draw his fingers. We're going to draw a first finger with a little curve coming out of his thumb. Then we can draw another little curve right here coming out the bottom of his thumb. And then let's draw his third finger. And then his fourth finger, right on the end. Looks like little upside down U's. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Now he has a wristband, so let's draw a curve on his wrist. Now we can finish his hair and his head. So let's come up here. We're going to draw a diagonal line that connects his eyeball to his cheek. And it comes past his cheek. Now we're going to draw his headband. Let's draw a line that comes out from this side of his eye. And then we'll draw a little one that sticks out on the right side of his eye. Now let's finish his hair. So we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes out from his headband. And then we're going to draw an M. So we'll go up, down, back up, and then connect. That's okay, you ran out of paper. I like how you're imagining it going off the page. Yeah. Okay, now let's come over here and we're going to draw a diagonal line that connects to his arm. Okay, now we got to draw the top of his head. So this line is going to be really long. It's going to come up high. I'm going to draw it even a little higher. And then we can come back down with a zigzag. Let's actually come back over here and let's draw a line that comes up too. Up really high. Okay, and then we're going to draw a sideways M. And then the top of the M, we're going to connect down. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, now we can draw the top of his headband. So let's draw a line that goes across. <laughs> All right, we did it. We finished his head. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his body. Right here, we're going to draw his chest. Then we're going to draw the right side 
of his body over here, and it comes down to about the same length down here. Okay, now let's connect these two lines. Okay, he has that vest or that jacket on, so we're going to draw the left side of the jacket first. Then we'll draw the right side. Then we're going to draw his neck or the his t-shirt, the neck to his t-shirt. It's a little U. And then he's got his chest muscles. <laughs> and then let's draw his pants down here. If we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video! Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time. Now let's draw his left arm. And we're going to draw it in a fist also, but he's holding it next to his side. So we're going to draw a line that curves down. This is where his elbow is going to be. Then we're going to draw a line coming out. Then we're going to draw the bottom of his arm. So it's a curve for his elbow, and then it comes along and matches the top line. Good, now let's draw his fist, and we're just going to draw an oval shape. Good, and then let's draw his thumb. It's a U inside of the oval. Let's also add the wristband. So he has two hands. Can you tell which hand is closest to us? This one. How come? Because it's bigger. Yes, it's bigger. He's got two hands, but they're two different sizes. And it's not because he has a super giant hand and yeah. one teeny little small hand. Yeah. It's because one hand is coming forward. Look at that. My yeah. fist is super big and this one's really small. That's called perspective. Mm -hmm. Is that fun? Yeah. And you can add that to your drawings to make them look more 3D. All right, should we keep drawing? Yeah. Now we're going to draw his legs. So let's draw the first leg sticking out over here. So we're going to draw two lines coming out, and they're right next to each other. Kind of skinny legs, huh? Yeah. And then at the, at the bottom, let's connect with a curve, and then add two more curves, one for his socks, I think his socks, or leg yeah. warmers, and his shorts. I think he's wearing <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> and then we're going to draw his foot. So we'll draw his heel coming out, and then we're going to draw a really long, skinny U. Comes out and back in. And then he's barefoot, so let's draw two little toe lines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's draw his left leg, and we're going to draw this one bent. So we're going to draw it coming out for his knee, and then bent. Good. And then we can draw, we can draw the other line right next to it also. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll add a curve at the bottom to connect his leg warmers and a short line. Now let's draw his foot. We'll do the same steps, but we're going to face the foot going the other direction. So we draw his heel and then draw a really skinny U shape. And then toes, right? Yeah. This is the last step. We added two toe lines and we did it. We drew KO. He looks awesome. Yeah. You did a great job, man. Let's put our markers off this side and we're going to color them next. This part we're going to fast forward, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same color. finished coloring KO. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same color. And did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yes. Your drawing turned out so awesome. You can be super proud. Thank you. <laughs> if you had fun following along with us, be sure to click the circle to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And after you do that, click the bell icon to get notified when we do a new lesson. And then in the comments below, be sure to tell us what character we should do next from this cartoon. KO. Okay, okay KO. KO. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>